Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to go over an article about Hemp Incorporated, ticker symbol H-E-M-P. We're going to talk about what they updated us on. We're going to look at the charts, see what they're telling us, and go from there. So it says, strategic restructuring gives way to new dawn, new day for Hemp Incorporated. Uh, it says that they announced a multi-pronged strategic restructuring to its sales and marketing division that will create a more robust, profitable business model. The company needs to ensure that it has a system in place to support the growing sales and demand for its expanding King of Hemp product line. The three-pronged strategic restructure includes an aggressive influencer-based marketing campaign, customer relation management, CRM system through HubSpot, and an increased digital footprint through the search engine optimization. Hemp Inc. will begin to reveal the engagements of the influential people and collaborations with other industry leading organizations this week to <clears throat> heighten the market's understanding of how hemp derived products have a huge impact on their well being. The influencer marketing campaign prong of the restructure will be deployed over the next few weeks. The goal is to heavily focus on the utilization of influencers and in advertising on social media platforms. This will be a comprehensive, carefully curated influencer st strategy that will reach key audiences and create solid brand awareness for King of Hemp. Thus, developing the authentic partnership with influencers who have powerful voices is key. As a leader in the industrial hemp industry, Hemp Inc. still maintains a deep-rooted social environmental mission at its core, so connecting with powerful influencers will be seamless. According to a company executive, influencer marketing leverages the relationship between brands and people with large captive audiences where an influencer typically promotes a brand's products or services through various social media outlets. So we've seen this on a lot of different, uh, you, you'll see it, I mean, you see it on commercials for, you know, for a car insurance, for example, Shaquille O'Neal partners with someone and goes in and advertises their car insurance, or you'll see one of these big influencers sell some type of clothing line or something like that. So someone that the audience can relate to or relate with, right? Uh, the influencers will be trusted figures in the CBD and CBG hemp community that have a loyal following and knowledge and experience with King of Hemp products. In order for hemp to reach its target audience faster than ever, a company elected to pursue an influence-based marketing strategy across multiple platforms as part of its sales and marketing strategic restructuring. Hemp Inc. also aims to create a truly personalized customer experience across all channels and throughout each customer's journey through the new CRM system. This cloud-based system is expected to enhance the customer experience, drive sales, and position the company for a long-term success. HubSpot will be uh, will enable sales representatives to deliver a best-in-class customer experience. CRM will make it easier for customers to receive new product releases, discount codes, and follow-up from purchases. The immediate goal is to connect with customers exceed their expectations and turn them into ambassadors through an unparalleled product experience so trying to gain lifetime customers basically is what you need to do you got to treat them good on the front end that way they can keep coming back so that's good um and <clears throat> since the internet has revolutionized the way customer search and shop focus uh, will be given focus will also be given to increase hemp inc's digital footprint through seo the website will be completely overhauled to create a more user-friendly environment Hemp Inc. will actively invest in the performance and the visibility of their online presence. Appearing high on Google, Yahoo, Bing uh, requires an SEO strategy and tailored to SEO tactics. Hemp Inc. plans on optimizing keyword search and content to supercharge the website performance. Yes, it's a new dawn, a new day for Hemp Incorporated. They will continue to keep its shareholders up to date on all pertinent material events, product releases, product plans and inventory availability. Currently, Hemp Inc. sales and marketing team is working on a large-scale orders for companies CBDA and CBGA products. Those interested in distributing on a large-scale basis could email uh, sales at Hemp Inc. or call the number for more information. The entire product line may include tinctures, gummies, capsules, and edibles, and will come in a variety of sizes, potencies, and flavors, and formulas that ex uh, executives foresee being in high demand okay so um in, in my opinion this is a good thing here because i'll come back over here where it says um they they wanted to put this in place for the 
uh, to support the growing sales and the demand of its expanding hip line. So it shows that they're actually, they are growing, they are selling their products and they're thinking longer term. They're kind of, they're investing back into the business to make it better. They're not just like, okay, it's time to go sell our products. Let's just keep doing what we're doing. They're actually adapting. They're, um, you know, probably done some research on what other companies have done to increase sales and, and they're doing that now. So uh, I think I think overall, in my opinion, it's a good thing. So let's take a look at the charts. Let's see what they're telling us, and let's go from there. All right, guys, taking a look at Hemp Inc. ticker symbol H E M P. This is on the OTC markets. Um, the reason I drew the Fib level over here, usually I'll, I'll go to the very high and then down to the very low, is that this is about to go in the time frame. As time goes along, that's going to disappear, and then that'll be your new high. Um, but I figured, you know, this thing doesn't move very fast. So I think we're going to have some time to get all the way to here and use this as our high, which is about 0 0.0044 or 0 0.0043. So we'll take a look at that. So uh, not a whole lot of, of action coming here. We did hit the bottom here a couple of times at 0 0.001. And then we popped up to 0 0.0014. Uh, we're trading underneath that red SMA line. So that shows that we... You know, we've been in actually a bearish pattern for the longest time. We're continuously just underneath this um, this red SMA line. So we continue to come down. So the key thing you want to see here is if we can find support at 0 0.001 for a while, and we may do that, and that would be kind of encouraging because it shows that this may be where people are, are okay coming in and buying in at because whenever you find support, people are coming in and actually buying at those levels, okay? Um, which is actually what I'm kind of buying at now too is like I've said on the channel as I come in and just kind of dib a dibble nibble a little bit and uh, at these at this uh, stock and Add some shares and to me. I'm like well, this would be a, a good price I could throw a hundred bucks in and get a, a crazy amount of shares to add to my position and uh, People are probably doing that at these levels. They're just probably coming in and buying at 0 0.001, which is why your support um, You know your support is, is happening there. So I will have to see what they release as far as you know who's their their marketing person or their influencers are going to be like i don't know anyone in the industrial hemp industry that's a big influencer that that's another thing to kind of keep an keep an eye on it's like i don't know exactly what kind of people or who they're going to put in place to go out and sell their product right so i have to just kind of wait it out and see so my thing is um you know if if the legalization of marijuana happens all the wheat stocks are going to start moving. I think that's the big catalyst to keep an eye on. Even though this, I know this is hemp, it's not marijuana. It's going to be tied to that industry. And I think that's going to kind of help push it up. But your overall tip top ceiling right now is 0 0.0044. So trading well below a penny at this point. So uh, just to let you know, my plan is again to come in and just every so often come throw 50 bucks, 100 bucks and just sit on it. And as long as it keeps coming down, I'm going to keep averaging down. And that's why I'm not putting an insane amount of money in all at once is because I'm trying to keep catching it on the way down to where my average price is going to be very, very low. And that way, whenever it does start taking off, whenever that does, it may be a year, two years, three years from now until it actually gains traction. But when it does, I'll have enough in there to make it worth my while. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to provide you that update because we haven't done an update on Hemp Inc. in quite a while. Let me know your thoughts below. Other than that, we'll catch you in the next one.